Hi, this is Peter from Stanford University. I'm going to talk to you about how you can save favorites and create galleries on the Rev's Digital Library website. Now, when you're browsing the website and you find some images that are interesting to you, you can save them to a favorites list, which is a little bit like a bookmark, so you can just return to them later more easily. In order to do this, you need to have an account and be logged in, and there are other screencasts that talk about how to do that. I've already logged in here. So I'm just going to go to an image on the website and show you how this works. You have some actions over here, one of which is Save to Favorites, and the second is Add to Gallery. I'll start with Favorites. Favorites are easy, they're just like a bookmark. So if you click on the link, it will save the item to your favorites, and you'll know it's in your favorites list because the heart gets filled in. If we go to another image, we can also add it. Once you have favorites saved and you want to return to them, you can go to your dashboard. You can get to your dashboard from the top menu here by finding your name or username and then clicking on your dashboard. All of your favorites are shown in this pane over here and it's just showing me the top three, saying there's two that aren't visible and I've got a link to view all of them. So if I view all my favorites, I'll see all of them here. I also have a detailed view which will give me a little bit more information. On this page I can even add notes about the image, about why I saved it, if I, you know, there's a reason I thought it was interesting. And you can return to those later. So those are favorites. Galleries are similar to favorites but you can set up different kinds of lists. So you can create different galleries that uh, reflect different areas of interest for you. So right now I only have one gallery. This is a list of my favorite cars. Now once I have a gallery, I can add items to it in much the similar way I was saving favorites. So let me go find another image. And now I, if I click the Add to Gallery list, a little uh, drop-down menu appears and it'll show me my current galleries. I just have one. So I can select that gallery and add to it. That will save this item into that gallery. I can also start a brand new gallery by just clicking New Gallery. And I'll add this same image to that other new gallery. Again, if I go to my dashboard, I can see my galleries. Now I have two, the one that I had before and this new one that I just created. This one only has one image, the one I just added. Now I might want to give this one a better name, so I can edit the gallery and maybe call it something more interesting. Now I can continue to browse the website, adding images to each of those galleries, or even create more galleries. Now you'll notice that the galleries are private. This means that only I can view them. I can also make them public. So let me make this a public gallery. Again, I can edit it and just click visibility and set it to public. What this will do is it will make this gallery visible to anyone who's browsing the website. So if I go to the top navigation here and click on galleries, it will show me some featured galleries. But if I go over here to user, it will show me all the user galleries. And there's the one that I just created, racing cars with the one item. So this is a great way of creating a collection of images, annotating them by adding notes, and then sharing them with the public. And if we see that there are interesting galleries being created by users and they're made public, we'll feature them. And featured galleries are show, show up on this first page of the galleries. We can also feature them on the home page. We pick some interesting galleries that we think users have created and we put them up on the home page here. So I really encourage you to create an account, log in, save your favorites, and create some public galleries. Thanks.